presentation. Okay. I don't have a presentation. I'm just going to show you um, on Wikisource some stuff. Um, <coughs> so this is our um, our portal on Wikisource uh, when it loads. Um, basically. Uh, I found that the easiest way to explain um, Wikipedia to uh, the National Archives for me has actually been to talk about Wikisource first, uh, because a lot of a lot of people at the National Archives, a lot of people at the National Archives have um, are a little hesitant about the idea of contributing content, uh, uh, encyclopedic content at all, um, because they they feel like. Uh, especially for, for archives, their job is to collect things and show them to people, um, but let other people reach their own conclusions, do their own research. Um, so they're not necessarily um, they're not necessarily so sure how Wikipedia fits into their uh, their you know their mission. But Wikisource is really easy to explain. It's volunteers that want to transcribe your documents. Um, so our, what we've been doing is essentially, uh, in along with our mass upload of everything, a lot of a lot of which is textual documents. Um, we're trying to get these textual documents transcribed on Wikisource. So I just want to show you basically how it works on Wikisource because I feel Wikisource has been uh, very underutilized since it's so it seems so relevant to a lot of the work that Glams do. Uh, and then two cool things that we've done with Wikisource. Um, so this is, this is uh, I'll show you, this is this is a page that has uh, all of our, uh, okay, this looks a so lot, <laughs> but um, so I just want to show you an example. These are, this is, these are the, the list of, of uh, works that have been completely transcribed and validated on Wikisource, uh, which is, um, we're around 50 at this point. Um, so this is a good multi-page one. And just to show you how it works, uh, So um, on one of those um, on, on Wikisource, uh, you have uh, this is the, the final product. This is the, the completely transcribed, and it's all in plain text and searchable, which is the point. Um, so this is how how it came to be. Is uh, each article has has a source tab, um, and this is this is the index, um, and each page has been transcribed. Uh, and the cool thing about Wikisource is it's side by side um, transcription when it loads uh, with the original document. Um, each page, each page gets validated by multiple editors. Um, so there's a whole Wikisource already has a whole uh, mechanism for vetting uh, transcriptions. So what we've done. Uh, at the National Archives, is um, each of these that have, that have been completed um, are now now these transcriptions are findable in the National Archives catalog. So each this, the links at the top uh, go back to the National Archives catalog for each of these validated transcriptions, um, and you'll see in the catalog entry for this. Uh, this um, so, so if you're if you're a researcher, um, you'll uh, you're, you're looking this up. And previously, you know there there was a scan, but you there was no no uh, no no text. Um, so now you have it. Uh, and the other the other cool thing that we've done is um, if I uh, go to So um, there are not there are not a lot of people that are familiar with Wikisource. Uh, a lot of our editors so far, most people are Wikipedians. Um, so one thing that I want to do is try to bring people to Wikisource also. Um, so another thing that we've done is uh, create a transcribe button that automatically preloads um, the the Wikisource page. So if you're on um, 
if you're on commons, um, just looking at the category, looking at all of the, the things that the National Archives has, uh, has uploaded, you'll see this, this transcribe this document button. And if you click it, this is what you'll see. <laughs> Thank you.